Supreme on the track. What's up, everybody? Supreme Decisions here again. Yes, got you one more time. And today, I'm actually bringing you something else. This one is from my guy, Chael Sonnen. Chael pretty much is easily known for the bad. He's the bad guy. He's also a former UFC fighter. He's a commentator. He's on the bunch of shows, Ariel and Nwani, and he has his own show. And anyway, he spoke about John Jones prior to John Jones taking a plea deal. But one of the things he spoke about, and in the context of what he's speaking about, is the game that is being associated and played with not only John, the lies that are being programmed to us, the things they want us to speculate on, you know, those things where it's more difficult to actually say, yes, this is what we're doing versus we need you to think a different way. Now, again, this is one of those videos where it's not me saying it while I'm saying it, but it's the view of someone else who actually has direct vantage of not only the situation, but the conversation. Because Chell spoke about it in the context of he knows contrary to what's going on, he understands the programming. Why? Because he has a family that deals with the legal system extensively. So go take a look at the video. Don't forget, hit that cash app, support the channel, join the channel, support the podcast. Monthly donations are great, even Apple Pay. So check out this video from Chael Sonnen, his point of view, and listen to what it is he's saying understand the programming is real and so are the games this is chess not checkers so this is not a commentary on what happened with john jones this is a straight up matchmaking slash booking question i am not being my typical dick of a self never missing a chance to give john jones the business that's just not what this is there was a piece of news that came out went very under the radar but it caught my attention prosecutors in las vegas have filed an extension extending the amount of time they have to criminally charge John Jones. Relevant because John was supposed to appear in court in October. That did not happen. He's now scheduled to go to court at the very end of January, January 30th. So what does that mean? What does that mean in terms of booking John Jones? Historically speaking, I cannot name anybody for you who has ever been had a legal anything hanging over them publicly that got booked. I can't remember that. And I can tell you firsthand when I went through it, exactly what they said. We are not booking you until this gets resolved. And I stepped in front of it and said, guys, the bad news isn't me getting charged with this. Okay, The bad news is I'm guilty of it. I mean, look, I can just skip to how this whole thing's going to end. I can tell you right now, no. Long as that's that, absolutely not. Matter of fact, don't even call us anymore, right? But it was one of these situations. So in John's spot where he's charged with vandalizing a police vehicle, the story goes something like John Jones headbutts a police car, gives a dent to the car, which is government property. To fix the car was in excess of $500, so it qualifies for a felony. It's something along these lines. But can you book him? Because the heavyweight title fight that seems agreed on John's going to take on the winner. And Gano versus Surreal will take place two weeks before John even has his first court hearing. Now, the problem also with that is that this first court hearing is the second date for the first court hearing. What does that mean? Well, it means if they moved it once, they can move it again. And don't think there's not a game being played here. Oh, we're all slowed down because of the coronavirus. Golly gee, we can't get you in. Yeah, they could. Of course they could. They're attempting to inconvenience John. Maybe they don't like where the case is going. They don't like how light the punishment is going to be. And they're well aware that he can't get booked and you can hold a guy. Those are very real things that happen. And I don't know who John's lawyer is. It sure as hell isn't me. You put my client in handcuffs? You push him against a police vehicle that you parked there and he bumps his head? I'm suing you. 
Now, we can settle this out of court. You take your case and I'll take my case. But you think that I'm going to reasonably believe that my client walked up to a police car with his hands behind his back and ran his head into the metal? And by the way, the whole thing's caught on body cam. How come I haven't seen that yet? This is the world's longest kept secret of body cam. And I'll tell you why we haven't seen it yet. Because you pushed my clients against it. His knees buckled. He rammed his head into your vehicle. I'm coming after you. But John never has these good attorneys. John just always seems to have a favor. Hey, let this thing play out. But somebody knows somebody and it gets caught. I mean, right, the history of John has been very fortunate as they go to court. But it's never because he's ever had a good legal defense. He loses every case that he battles. He just gets a slap on the wrist. And I'm only bringing this to you because something is going on here. And as it pertains to us, the fake, because we saw John over the weekend. And John's going to be ready by that date. Now, what does that mean when you've got a court date looming with charges that can be extended that are already at a felony? What does it mean? Because the UFC would not be wrong in my opinion. They might have a PR problem, but in my opinion, when I speak about historically, I don't know anybody that's been able to get a fight while they have a legal charge going. That's true. But it also would matter to some degree, I would think. What exactly are you being charged with? I think in all fairness, and again, if I'm the lawyer and you got body cam that you've never brought out, you cuffed my client, you pushed him into the car that you parked there and he bumped his head, I'm coming after you. And if my client gets held up from anything, I'm coming after you times 10. And there is legal precedence to do that. John, would have to have a good a lawyer. He doesn't. There's a way to play the game. It's being played against him right now. You think this date just mysteriously moved? No, it didn't move. It's all sorts of things that they could do. You can take a court hearing by Zoom right now and never even have to go. Of course, I've never worked faster. Contrary to what they tell you, that they're slave oil or all slowed down. Or you no, you're not. You're flying by. I come from a family full of attorneys. They moved John's date. They moved it to inconvenience him. They're playing a game. They're playing a game because they don't like where the case is going. If they liked where the case was going, they would get before the judge. They're, they're worried that they can't get the verdict that they want. They're worried that they can't damage him the way that they feel he deserves to be punished. And so they're moving the date so that he can't get booked. That's what's happening. John needs to fight back. Who put you in the handcuffs? Who pushed you in that position? And who put the vehicle there? I'm not asking you guys for the truth. I'm asking you for a defense.